Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and this video will show you how to input music into a new voice in Dorico. Notating music with different voices is generally required for polyphonic and contrapuntal music, often used when, but not restricted to, writing for piano and other keyboard instruments. In Dorico, there's no limit to the number of voices you can use on any given staff. Each voice is nominally either upstem or downstem, which dictates the stem direction of the notes when multiple voices are concurrently in use. When note input is active, start a new voice by pressing the Create Voice button on the toolbox, or by using the key command Shift V for voice. The voice indicator on the carrot changes to show a plus sign denoting you are starting a new voice, and a downstem note to confirm the new voice will be nominally a downstem voice. Note input then operates just as normal and does not interfere with the original voice. Once you have input into a second voice for a flow, the notes toolbox updates to display the next voice button. So with note input active, pressing this button or the key command V on its own will cycle through the available voices. In this instance, I can choose between the upstem voice and the downstem voice and then input notes as normal. You can still access the new voice command by long pressing the button, which reveals controls for starting a new voice, starting a new slash voice, and changing to the next voice. And of course, the key commands Shift V to start a new voice and V to cycle through existing voices are always available. As you create new voices, the carrot will indicate the number of the voice, with up and down stem voices having their own sequence, and of which there are no limits. Each staff has its own independent set of voices, so when working with grand staff instruments such as a piano, simply create the voices required for each staff. Outside of note input, the new voice and next voice buttons, as well as their respective key commands, can be used to change the voice of existing notes. Simply make a selection and then press the button or type V to move those notes to a different voice. If the voice you need does not yet exist, press Shift V to create it. There's no need to worry about which voice you should be using other than ensuring it has the correct stem direction for your needs. Dorica will use its intelligence to set the order of close opposing voices. Should you wish to swap the order of voices in a particular situation, there's a simple command to do so. When using the Select More command, only notes from the current voice are selected, making it easy to select all notes across a given voice and edit as necessary. A natural side effect of working with multiple voices can be the presence of unwanted rests. If this is the case, simply make a selection that includes those rests and from the Edit menu, choose Remove Rests. To make it easier working with multiple voices, you can choose to draw notes from each voice in a different colour. By default, these won't print as such, However, if you'd like them to, in print mode, open the annotation section and switch on view options. Dorico Pro possesses sophisticated condensing features that renders music for multiple instruments on a single staff automatically, utilizing separate voices where appropriate. As a result, music for single players should, where possible, be input on their own staves and then condensed for the conductor's full score if necessary. And that's creating new voices in Dorico. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.